Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Celtic Transfer Talk video. We're at a stage every single season now, come, I feel it's just like a couple of years now, on back and back time, we've seen this again and again. And that's from the title of the video, Joe Hart to Celtic. Um, he's been linked with him last season before we signed Barkas. Um, a, signif a significant, I can't even say that word, um, a big roll of the dice to be honest. Um, not just me as a Celtic fan, but I think mostly every Celtic fans, uh, a Celtic fan are unsure what to make of the club's reported chase for former England goalkeeper Joe Hart. Uh, a tweet from Fabrizio Romano is highlighted, obviously, as I said, from Starfield's deal and um, a couple of other deals Celtic have done, you know, they have come through. Followed up upon the Athletic, uh, both insist that the boys are looking to Hart to solve the goalkeeper club's goalkeeping problem. Vasilis Barkas had impressed in pre season, really, you know, he saved the ball, <laughs> do you know what I mean? He's, he saved the ball, you know what I mean? But a high profile mistake led to Celtic seeding against Michelin. It's, it's when I'm on recording this tonight, the game is, so we'll see if Bain, if Barkas is going to start a Bain, I don't know, God knows. An all unconvincing performance in a final against Warwick West Ham, and we say, oh no, it's only West Ham. But I swear, if Barkas was a bloody YouTuber, he would go, he would go there. <laughs> yep. Definitely can you cover that. <laughs> Celtic, um, but but he only added to the uncertainty um, about him, uh, Barkas. So got Bain meanwhile wasn't particularly impressive when handed the gloves in 2021 uh, last season. Celtic have been linked to off of here Marciano, but and Matt Ryan amongst others, and it's not the first time Joe Hart has been tipped for a move to Celtic. Used as a backup for Tottenham Hotspur last season, Hart has a um. A tumultuous uh, time since leaving Man City. Initially on loan, he spent time with Tor Tornino in Serie A, West Ham, and Burnley before joining Spurs in 2020. Whether well, Hart could return to his early 2010s form is up for today. Certainly, Celtic fans aren't really universally in agreement over the former England keeper's qualities. He did obviously win the Premier League Golden Glove four times with two Premier League titles, along with 75 caps for England. It's hardly a CV to sniff at. However, um, it's his wages and recent record that concerns plenty of sports, including me. Um, now, since um, leaving Man City, um, he moved to Torino on loan for a season 2016 to 2017 now, and then he moved back to the Premier League, he went to West Ham 2017 to 2018, I'm showing you on screen now, and then in 2018 to 2020, he was at a Burnley um, and then he moved to Tottenham, uh, you know, he's still at Tottenham since 2020. Um, now, it's not just me as a Celtic fan debating Joe Hart's signing, some fans on Twitter as well, so, you know, some Celtic f f fans are keen on Joe Hart, the experience he can bring out to a youthful backline could well be valuable. Um, you know, the last six, seven years of his career indicate um, of a player in, in decline, a potential gamble for Celtic, you know, to take, given his likely wage demands. Um, somebody said on Twitter when Pep Guardiola joined Man City, one of the first things he did was punt Joe Hart because he was hopeless with the ball at his feet. This is not an Ange Postecoglou sign. Now, that's, that's a fair point. He's made this guy's made Twitter because what you do is when you come as a manager, you punt the players that you know they're not they're not good in your side, and that's what Pep Guardiola did. And I feel that. If we had more goalkeepers and options, maybe more better keepers in Barkas and Bain. Obviously, that's not a hard thing to do. But you know, if we did, if we spent our money right, but you know, um, what do you call it? Um, they'd be t punted absolute out of the club. I, I'm not. I, I'm being serious there. I mean, um, I can't believe though what they're at the stage at Joe Hart to sell take part of the transfer window. Feels like it starts earlier every year. Like I said at the start of the video. Um, but some fans say it's, it, be, it could be an excellent sign. So somebody on here, his name is Sam, says Joe Hart would be an excellent sign for Celtic. He is miles ahead of anything that they are at the minute, and his experience would be brilliant for the young centre halves at the club. Now yeah, I get that part of the you know the the part of the, the you know the the discussion. Sorry, do you know what I mean? I get that, um, but I'm just like with Celtic have turned to have keeper problems and they've turned to. They decided to turn to Joe Hart. Christ. Absolute Christ. Um, you know, I honestly don't think Joe Hart is much better than Barkas, given the past five, six years of his career, to be honest with you. Um, some may say, already oh, he's better than we've got, but 
what you know he hasn't shown it in the last five six years you know what i mean to be honest um but um after a long and hard thought process and watching um a few videos from last year when we've been linked from joe hart and i think i did a video as well when i was talking about barcast nearly signing and joe hart was linked i do not want john hart a uh, john hart joe hart Surely we have the better scouting process in place than reverting back to players who were looked at under previous management. But Christ, come on! And Hart, if Hart comes though, then fair enough. You know, it's obviously, I obviously back him. You know, you got to do it every play, and I just think we can do better than someone who has been non-existent for six years. To be honest, um, I don't know why we're scout. I don't know why we're in talks from. To be honest, um, I think it's just a load of nonsense. But you know, you know, that is what it is. Um, but yeah, Freeman Romano said Celtic have open talks with Tottenham to sign Joe Hart as a new goalkeeper. Negotiations are going between the two clubs, which is uh, if he comes in, fair enough, I back him. But I hope he does well. But at the same time, I want a, I want a I want a goalkeeper that we've seen and he's he's done well over the past six years. Then he's probably dis he's disappeared over the last six years. Well, I mean, um, but um, thanks guys for watching. This is my opinion on my thoughts are Celtic and current talks with Tottenham to sign Johar as the new goalkeeper. In my opinion guys not no truth so um you know what's your what's your um opinion down below in the comments. Please subscribe, like and share the video as per usual and I'll see you guys very 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 shortly.